What is the crack lads? We're back. We're going to be playing a couple of matches. We're going to go right into it. We're going to get the squad done. We're going to open up a couple of packs and we are also going to play our division matches. So we are going to switch up the team a little bit lads. I don't want to stay playing with the same squad that I have all the time but I am going to play the first couple of matches with the team that I have been using forever really for the last couple of weeks um, apart from using the Barcelona past and present squad mainly because I want to see if there is any noticeable differences. I played uh, V1.1.4 last week, so I am a little bit rusty, but I do have a fairly beastly squad, as you can see here. Um, this is the team that we're going to pick. We've got Haaland at Nabry. Kimmich I'm going to put in right back here. I'm just going to open two of these. Saliba would be a beast to get as well, uh, but yeah, Mbappe would be, would be the man to get here. I think he would be my ultimate ultimate goal here to get him let's see who it is so it's english league it could be salaba it is five star there is a couple there is it the main man himself it is this is a good pull lads i'm actually going to put him straight in i'm going to put him straight into the squad um he is a beast absolute beast a rating as well 90 possession gain quick counter long ball counter out wide and long ball so they have fixed that because he is the ultimate addition of him there's no level up with him he's 92 overall and that is it. But he has got incredible stats. Really, really good stats. Nice height, nice weight. I'm going to throw him in at the deep end, lads. He's not the quickest, but I do like him. I do like a player like that that you can kind of throw in. So we will pop him in. We'll open one more, and then we will decide whether we'll buy coins or not. Come on, Mbappe. Mbappe or Modric, lads. That's who I'm probably going to wish into existence here. And then I will see you guys at kickoff as we get our first impressions out of the way. Let's see who we get. League 1. Oh, it's Liga Espanol. It could be Modric. Once it's not Fatty, I have Fatty as a legend. It is Modric, I think. Modric! That is a big pull. We're happy enough with that. We're happy enough with that, lads. We will take it. He's one of the lads I did really want. We've got one more if we do decide to put it in there. So, them two boys are going to come on to our squad. And we will be able to then get them in and see. I think Modric would be a beast of a player, lads. And I'll be interested to see... But I do want to keep my, my core kind of uh, team there to see so I can actually have the comparisons good to go because I do have an unbelievable squad. But we're going to go here. The Gawith Stadium. It's a new stadium as far as I know. Winter? No, nah, summer, man. Summer. We want that. That's nice little dynamic lighting there. I like that a lot. Oh, wait, am I, did that not change? Hold on a second now. Yes. I'll go back. All right, lads, I'm ready to go. I had to switch screens. I was on the wrong screen. So let's see. Let's see how responsive this is. Let's see how it feels. Not bad so far. Feels pretty, pretty similar. Feels a small bit zippier, which I like. In terms of the player movement. This guy is, this guy is moving all over the pitch. That's nice. That's better. Neymar, lovely. Are we back, baby? Are we back on V1.0 type gameplay? And if we are, I'm going to dominate. Salah. Oh, cheeky. Oh, what a goal. What an unbelievable little R trigger. R3 little flick up. And Salah gets our first goal of eFootball 2023. Brilliant movement. Of course, he doesn't let me watch it because he's absolutely sickened. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nice bit of possession. Carlos is back. He's he's back defensive today. Carlos. Going out wide. That's good play from him, lads. He's offside, though. Oh, lovely. Vieira. Oh, a little tricky. Lads, I like that now. Vieira with the tiniest of little deft touches. That's the dribbling that I used to love in V1.0. It's good play from him. Okay, I don't like that now, that little stop up there, that was unlucky on him. Yeah, man, it feels nice, it feels it feels grand, like I feel in control. Obviously, you're going to have times when you make the wrong decision and you get punished, but I'm passing. I'm kind of it's doing what I wanted to do. It's a nice pacey passing, that's better. Neymar. Seems to be a good kind of balance there between the, the dribbling now and the shoulder charge and stuff. Player responsiveness seems very, very sharp. I think the player responsiveness is a bit better, lads. 
That's what I'm talking about. Put the challenge in, no free, perfectly timed tackle, and I feel in control to build again. Maradona. Neymar. Oh, brilliant feet, brilliant acceleration. Vieira. Ah, oh, bad option. Maradona stands up. Carlos. Then one ball. Romario. Oh, that was brilliant. See that little shove from him? Get up, Carlos. Oh, no. Makaleli's back there, lads, defensively. That's still an issue, I think. That, that's a very hard one because he's trying to pass the ball there and it goes into a slide tackle and it's a free out. That can be very frustrating. Oh, that's a bad pass. Defending though up in Meccano. Sharp Neymar is, lads. He's on real feet. Romario spin. Booker T spin a Rooney. Booker T! Oh, what a save from Rui Patricio. Let's see what the tight, the tight dribbling is like in around the box. Not bad. Salah! Number two. Easy. Easy goal for Salah. And lads, it feels a lot better than what I was playing with V1.1.4. It feels zippier. It feels sharper. And there doesn't seem to be as many interceptions or as, ma as much stupid stuff happening. Now, look, it's my first game. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to crown it back yet. Back. Them touches. They're, that's what I'm talking about. The stoppage. Like, that is definitely improved. Because that is my biggest asset when I'm playing this game, is like getting the ball on the wing and making him commit. That's my biggest thing. That's what I didn't like in V1.1.4. It was too random. It was too chaotic. And defensively, it seems to me like the defense is not as OP, but still OP enough that I would like to see it a little bit more manual. But there seems to be a lot of range on this, uh, this gameplay now. Oh, beat the offside trapper, Mario. Oh, I don't like those backwards passes. They need to nerf those a little bit. But this guy, he's just doing the basic thing and I'm reading it, so. Plus, I have a much better team. Oh, Romario Salah. See what I mean, man? That's the dribbling that I want to see. Oh, Neymar, it's a slight little touch in. That's the dribbling that was missing for me in V1.1.4. Now, I could have just got lucky in this game with the connection because when you do get a bad connection, the game is a disaster, no matter what version of the game it's at. But it does feel sharper. The dribbling to me, this mightn't suit everybody. This update might be worse for some people, but I think for me, this is going to be a good update for me if it stays this way because the dribbling definitely feels sharper. There's a lot of stuff that I like what I'm seeing here. They did say that the defensive-minded players were a little bit more kind of... You know, they, they kind of knew what they were doing from now on. Oh, that was a cruncher. That's a red, surely, from Beckenbauer. Send him off, ref! Don't be standing up looking at him. You've got a color there, a color red. Let me see. I'm going to have a rattle here. Ooh! Mixture between both. Haaland! Finish in the back of the net and Haaland puts it home. First win in Division 9, lads. It's easy when you're winning games, lads, to, to praise the game. And it's easy not to see the issues. But this guy will probably be frustrated because he hasn't been able to get the ball out of his back line. Um... You know, because my team is obviously very, very strong. Makalele, Vieira. Um, I've got really good subs as well. So, But listen, I can only give impressions on what I'm actually playing. And I've enjoyed it. I think that it's zippier. It's, it's faster. It's more fluid. Connection has been flawless. Um, what more can I say about it? It's been my first game and it's a good first impression. But we will play a second match. And we will get our impressions up two matches back to back and see. Um... I seem to have always have more issues with the events than divisions, but divisions feels good here, man. That's that's all that matters to me. If I am going to continue to play the divisions, that is going to be something that I, I want to see. I want to have fast, fun, fluid, responsive, obviously realistic as well, but 
Um, I do think that that's going to come with time is like the pace and the games and stuff. But yeah, the dribbling for me is game changer from 1.0 to 1.4 to now this. The dribbling to me is, is game changer because it means that I can actually play exactly how I want to play. And I'm not being completely destroyed by somebody that just wants to let the AI defend for him. You know what I mean? That I can actually get around the press and get around him spamming shoulder charge, spamming slide tackles, spamming pressure, spamming teammate press runs. So that's what I want to see. Obviously, his team, it's nothing got to do with his skill level or anything like that. I could play this guy again and he might beat me. Um, I just got a couple of lucky goals and... Uh, got the run in him but my team is obviously you know my team strength is way higher than his he's got Tammy Abraham up front I've got Romario so it probably is frustrating for him uh, coming up against a squad like mine but uh, I do think that I've kind of controlled the game and felt like I'm able to do exactly what I wanted to do so that's always a positive for me you know so we'll take the win lads and we'll see you guys at kickoff again uh, with the second match hopefully and uh, yeah we'll go from there